where we left off last time. They had just finished meeting with Orcos, their uh, friend who likes to give them answers uh, in a little friendly competition. But this time, unlike last time, he didn't heal you when your fight was over. And to make pain even worse, you got a new jab as Ariana had to step away from the group and returned to Akros. So here you are at a grave marker in the middle of nowhere, trying to decide what to do next. I oh, seem to have missed quite a bit. I think I'm just gonna like wake up somewhere. I don't. Was I still in the car? You were. You were still in the cart, Yeah. <laughs> I'll just like look around. I'll just be like, anybody want to fill me in on what happened? Um, there's uh, there's a lot to cover. Um, what do you remember? How, how can we start there? Well, I believe that was Athreos's river that we saw that sealed everything and took away all the spirits and whatnot. And then after that, I don't know if it was exhaustion or whatnot, I... I felt as though I had some sort of connection with Krufix in a for a bit. And mm. I woke up. I'm in the cart. I see everybody injured. Ariana missing. And somber faces. Yes. Um Okay, not as far back as I thought I had to go, so that helps. Um You've been sleepy quite a bit. Uh, should probably get that checked out. But um, anyways, um, well, we were traveling on the road and uh, we reconnected with a familiar face, Orcos, hence the injuries. Of course. But um, we won the battle this time. I say we, mostly, um, Mostly Adrastos. And Hyrax, he, he did a great job too. I mean, I, everyone did a, a fine job, but um, we, we spent some time getting to know each other a bit on the on the drive. We had our battle. Um, due to our accomplishment, we got quite a few answers on a variety of different things. It'd be hard to fill you in on the specifics of each one, but we got some clarity about some different personal goals and group goals. Uh, learned a bit more about Orcos and um, Ari um, well I think she was reminded of what's at stake and what's important to her and um, with the way things have been going and the destruction that has befallen Akros she felt it best to uh, return home and serve in our fight uh, at a more local level rather than at the god level that we've been aspiring to so um she won't be traveling with us anymore we can still see her and and speak with her uh deeper said that she gave you a form of communication am i right yeah 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 i'll run up to tolly and just I'll hold out the sending stone that Ari always had. If you want to say goodbye, you could use this. Yeah, she didn't want to wake you. Not really good at goodbyes. And we'll we'll see her eventually. Our paths might not be the same, but we'll see her. And, yeah, she'll, sorry. I, she'll just be supporting from the sidelines, but it'll be hard without her. Tolly's gonna finally, I guess, 
get out of the the cart like in earnest and take a look around and kind of look over at I I assume who who's who's the most hurt? Like who's who's like pained? That would be a tough one because I think Adrastos took quite a bit. He got some healing though towards the end. Well, he's sleeping, so it's fine, right? Yeah. On a scale of zero to forty-three, I'm at thirty-five. <laughs> that's, that's a weird scale you got there. Uh, isn't it strange? I don't know. I just pulled the numbers out of thin air. Uh, Viola looks okay. She's 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 definitely got like a hit or two on her, but she's she's fine. Uh, yeah, Hyrax is fine. Seacross has got like a little blood from like a little wound, but nothing terrible. She's just being stoic. And and what of you, friend? Your name's Hyrax, is it not? That's correct. I was worried that you would never wake, by the way. I'm very glad to see you up and about. Well, <laughs> I honestly didn't feel like there was any time that passed, so... Um, thank you. Have anybody else mentioned what we were doing here? Were you just going to follow us when, as our roads kind of cross for a little bit, or? Your task was explained to me, and I think it's of interest. I do think that uh, I could be of help to you, and uh, I have my own interest in seeing that your your mission goes well, as I think we all should. I believe the your friend that passed, you and they were rangers, are you not? That's correct. I'm originally from Satessa. So I've been wandering ever since I came of age. So what if... What of them? Anybody to report to or anything if you are on a new quest? In that sense? Yes, yes, I suppose there is someone I could report to. If you wouldn't mind the diversion. Well, ever since loss that we suffered and everything. I'm sure everybody won't mind to have a little bit of a diversion. A little bit of rest, even. I understand. I... So, how is everybody to this agreement? We continue on our quest going on to Tavi. But... However urgent it might be, we take a little time for ourselves. Yes, we've, we've spoken a lot about um, what our path ahead should look like um, in terms of going to Tavi or in terms of perhaps trying to go to the underworld, um, following the river. It, it appears what, while you were asleep, we got confirmation that the reason, well, in theory, the reason why the river started flowing the opposite direction is because it's leading to a portal to the underworld. It just, the river goes straight in. So we have confirmation to weigh into the underworld if we were to choose that path, but it is the opposite direction of what we came. Um, and after speaking with Orcos, it seems like um, a lot of us are in the mindset that there's a lot at stake, and there were missing a true friend. He died the way that he likely would have wanted, and spending the time to go and retrieve him might not even be what he wants, and a lot of lives could be lost in the process. So um, I think forging ahead to Tavi makes sense, but if, if the stop that um, Hyrax needs to make is on the way or nearby, I we've been known to 
take a turn off the road a time or two now. Where exactly is it? My business lies in Satessa itself. Ah, that's a bit far. I understand if you'd rather not go that way. It's not as though they'll be expecting a report from me immediately. I mean, is that is that is that true, Tam? As I should probably ask rather than uh, ask rather what? Than, I'm uh, sorry. What do you what do you want to know? Um. So the uh the Ophis Tower. Um. How uh, how often am I expected to report back to them or anything? If if I tell them that I'm doing something. I mean, they would expect to hear back from you, but if you didn't give a specific timeline, then there wouldn't be a specific timeline they would expect you. So, right. Yeah. But I should I should probably tell them if I'm taking on this mission, right? Talk yeah, about it. probably, because they'll yeah. wonder where the heck you are, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, first of all, I do agree that although... Our pain of losing a friend is great. I could, I could only see that dumb smile on his face as he, as close to his God as he could be, understanding that that piety brought him somewhere. Hey. Vara, we still have Bubo, right? Ariana didn't. Bubo didn't follow Ariana away, or? Um, no. Bubo she took, she took Bubo follow. with her, yeah. Yes. Okay. So, if we were to get this message back to Satessa, either another means of a messenger, or we go ourselves. But that would be a, quite the detour. In I'm interested in... I, I'm interested in going to Satessa. Um, in theory, we started a war, according to the Guardians of the Temple, so it would be worth checking in. Um, but we're far closer to Tavi than we are Satessa, so I feel like perhaps we should go there first. Irax, you hear coming from the south, just in the tree line picks up and it's more heavily forested as you, you know, go down the hill a bit. And you hear a twig snap, and you're pretty sure you, you heard a voice. And then two figures step out of the woods. And I need each of you to uh, roll me a d20, please. Highest oh number highest number loses. Each of oh, you, all of us? Loses. Huh, yeah. Natural one. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Let's get that out of the way. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Tam, I rolled a, I rolled a nat 20. <laughs> just a sh okay, well, oh, we already have oh, the full spectrum, yeah, so yeah, can I just oh, not good. even... <laughs> I don't just know, just I was really close. I had a are, ties, as well. are ties possible? Can someone else lose with yeah, me? Yeah, there, there is a tie possible. So I got an 11. All right. I was really close, I got a 19. So, it, was just a, it was just a plain 20 roll, right? There wasn't, yeah. it was just... Yep, just a plain 20. <laughs> Out of the woods, about... 75 yards where the tree line starts to pick up and it gets thicker. Two figures step out. Fairly short, kind of greenish skinned. You recognize them immediately as goblins, and you also recognize the look on their faces complete and total startlement. They did not expect anyone to be here. The one to the right looks up and immediately goes, Tacklack! Pulls his bow and fires a shot at Hyrax. Oh. And uh, does a 16 hit? A 16 does not hit. All right. Especially falls... since, assuming that I heard them coming, I would not have been surprised. Yeah. Right? So, yeah, exactly. The arrow whizzes past your head, and the two of them immediately start running into the woods. Have we seen goblins before? Oh, yes. We you have. ran into them when they were... Against uh... the Mementor. Yep, Mementor. Oh, we had to fight off Mementor. Yes. Oh yeah, no, they were all over. Okay, great, cool. I was, I thought for some reason this was our first goblin, and I was like, where the fuck did this come from? Okay, cool. Okay. At that time, I'll just be like, really, really quickly, I'll just go, 
Goblins don't usually show up in twos. That's a scouting party. There might be more goblins in the in the woods. So either we pick everything up and get out of here, or we chase after them. This is a sacred place to Orcos, so if they're potentially going to interfere with you, then I would like to chase. I agree. Agreed. I would also like to know what they're up to. Hmm. Going after Let's them. go. Uh, Bara starts running, and while she's running, she's going to go, oh, by the way, Tolly, I already introduced you to Hyrax, um, but if you wanted to give a proper introduction, you could, but I think I summed you up quite well. Probably <laughs> later, probably later. <laughs> I'll, I'll just... <laughs> <laughs> in, uh, in, the, in the five minutes of conversation it took to decide to uh, go after them, <laughs> uh-huh. who is leading the chase? I Who's would tracking? like to run after them. I, I will track them, for sure. I'll track All them. All right. Uh, Give me a survival roll with disadvantage because of the amount of time it took you to get moving. Oh. oh. Always with that talking. Always with the talking. <laughs> That's not a punishment. It's just fun. <laughs> that is. Right, so with disadvantage, How do we get rolled... information without it? <laughs> with disadvantage, I rolled a nat one. So that's a seven. Excellent. <laughs> All right, you tear out into the woods and you're running. You, you're pretty sure you hear the noise of more goblins speaking in the distance ahead of you. And you're pretty focused on that run at that point and following them that you don't see the large hole in the ground oh, ahead of you. Yeah. And I'm going to need a dexterity check, please. Dexterity save. Dexterity save. That is 16. You stop right on the edge. I would say maybe you go over a little bit and kind of throw yourself back. Was that the DC? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just okay. before you go over the edge of sliding into this thing. Uh, huh. Not common that I missed something. As you look uh, around, though, now that you're down a little closer to the ground from almost having fallen into this hole, you notice whoever you were chasing wasn't so lucky. There are scratch marks as they tried to grab the side as they fell down into this. Oh. It was good. It was very good. No, um... Sorry, we'll raise the Lost Ark. Uh... <laughs> The giant ball control thing. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I'm going to peer down. Is it the two goblins that I was chasing? Is it both of them or one of them? Uh, from the way it looks around, it probably both of them fell into okay. this. How deep is this thing? Can I not see that far you do into not, it? You do not see the bottom of it. It is dark. The it's sun does not pierce down into it. Do uh, have I have dark vision. vision. All right. I do have dark vision. I have... I believe 60 feet because I'm a gloom stalker. As you look down into this, you can see that double check. it drops down probably 30 feet. And it appears that there's a set of tunnels that goes off in either direction. Oh, so I don't see the bodies. I see tunnels. Mm -hmm. What are the chances, Tam, that they deliberately went down there and I might still be alive? I've just escaped into the goblin tunnels. Uh, are you asking me for an intuition on this? Give me an insight check. I will give you an insight check. I'm good at that. Ostensibly, if I roll well, which, which I didn't. That's a five plus nine is 14. A little hard to tell from just the tracks and things that you've seen, uh, but the fact that there are claw marks um, and no rope, no ladder, yeah. just a drop. Uh, a chance they did not go down there on purpose. Hmm. Which means that something dragged them into the tunnels already. Irex, what do you see down there? Spikes? Uh, is it a trap? Just a hole. Long drop. 30 feet. Tunnels at the bottom. No corpses. But I think they fell. Tunnels? You mean a, tunnels. a creature dug this then? A creature this size? And how big is the hole around 
Uh, actually, if you look on the maps, you can see it is about 10 feet long and 5 feet wide. Uh, let's get kind of oblong here. shape. Um, <laughs> just... <laughs> oh, let me, let me, uh, hold on just a second. There's the map for the uh, viewers. You know, technology. Oh, that's big. So we shouldn't be here. At all. How close are we to any, like, human settlements, Tam? You've moved out a little ways from the, the temple, which you guys destroyed, and you're pretty good distance, probably at least a day and a half, two days away from Krimnos. So unless there's some small village in between there, mm. uh, you're not near anything in particular. All right. Are we, are we going in these tunnels? I think that would be a monumentally bad idea um, if we don't have cause. Unless also, you intend to rescue the goblins. Not also, one of our toughest fighters are back in the cart, resting his wounds. I just don't want whatever dug this tunnel to come back out at this point. Hmm. Considering yeah, how quickly yeah. those goblins were dragged away, I think it's probably ready for whoever drops down. Can I try to figure out what animal would have done these tunnels with my druidic knowledge of animals? Uh, feel free. Uh, do a nature check if you would. I would love to. I want nothing more than to do that. Let's see. How about a nine? <laughs> My nature is not very good. <laughs> You're a druid. A druid. As uh, a druid. You know. Uh, you know. <laughs> on the seas, on the seas. Druid is on the seas. It's fine. I'm a druid of the seas. <laughs> I'm very good at survival. <laughs> um. Could I attempt a nature check? Uh, in that case, I will give Vara advantage. Uh huh. Because you're assisting, be and the great. two of you could compare notes. We roll again. How about a ten? One better. <laughs> Any takers? I hear ten. <laughs> Can I do a nature check and have a roll again for an eleven? No, I'm. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. As I you... know we're not doing it legitimately, but I'm going to try. Nope, that was a two. Oh, Never no, mind. No, no. That would have yeah, been yeah, funny. Yeah. We'll keep the ten. We'll keep I was oh. hoping for an eleven. Uh, so bad. Wait, you so the... oh, you are you combining the life? One? I see. Sorry, go ahead. Sorry. Uh, no, I was just noticing she only has a plus one to that. Okay, Indeed. <laughs> I'm not proficient. So, com combining All the your... life experiences of Hyrax and Vara, they determined that. The shape of this is something that maybe an animal would have made. Maybe maybe something like a snake, except yeah, we, it's a little large enormous. for a snake hole. So. Whenever's down here, it's monstrous, though. I do worry that it'll disrupt the wildlife around here. Hmm. We could find some way to cover it up. But then we'd basically just be making a pit trap. As you continue talking, the area around you, you know, there's a little bit of dirt, and it it's, looks like it's been that way for a while. You can't really tell, but then all of a sudden, the plants that are surrounding it begin to brown and wilt. And the area of openness around it this begins to spread as plants begin to die, dying in the area around it. Yeah, I immediately back off. Like, immediately. Oh, like, yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No hesitation. Walk out of that way. I know I know. Vara already rolled nature. Uh, monstrosities are my favorite enemy. It, if, if this is... I get, I get uh, advantage on intelligence checks to recall information about them. I don't go, know. Go ahead. No, I think I think if you're trying to see is this, is this anything that meant Jack to you, <laughs> you can roll for it. All right. 
that is no good. I should really put my glasses on. And that is a 15. You recall there are various creatures that can cause this kind of uh, wilting and, and death, and but none of them are present. You know, they would have to be here, and it would be like an area surrounding them, not not some distance away from a hole. It, it would never happen around a dwelling, a cave, or anything that they were in. They would have to be present in the immediate area. This is something something uh, deeper. And then you think back, there was a year ago in Satessa, maybe a year and a half, there was a situation where a child had apparently been taken by a nymph and taken away to their cave in the Skola Vale. And a group of adventurers had, not knowing uh, the full details of what had happened, in aid of the, uh, the, the parents who were crying for their lost child, pursued this nymph and this child into the, the Vale. And on arriving at the cave, they found the nymph to be somewhat aggressive and they fought. And unfortunately, they killed the nymph. And after that happened, there was a, a bit of a drought. It's They had killed a nymph that was responsible, an alsay that was responsible for hoping to keep the fields alive, keep the plants growing. So here you have another situation, a cave, plants dying around it, and possibly two goblins who have dropped down into it and could have done all sorts of nefarious things. For my part, I'm interested to see what's going on here. But I understand if we can't spare the time. We can spare the time. I just don't want to spare their horses back, back where we've left them. Prime is with them. Prime, yeah. And I mean, Adrastus is exhausted and asleep, but I assume if there were any major danger, he could potentially wake. And sure. I have rope, but nothing to secure it to. Do any of you have stakes? I'm a badger. And Mara's going to change into a badger. Congratulations. <laughs> Did you straight Those up response. just say, I'm a badger, and just leave? <laughs> and they go, <laughs> badger, leave, badger, 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 I'm badger, badger, wild, badger, I'm gonna badger. Go badger. And, yep. <laughs> I'm going to wild shape into a badger and kind of like make a show of like, I don't need ropes. <laughs> just be like, so I have two mushrooms? Um, no. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I don't have anything for for this. How big is a giant badger? How giant is a giant badger? It's a medium beast. It's a is medium, it like yeah. rideable? Not... Mm, yeah, no, they're not quite. Me? They're not quite rideable by maybe okay. by a halfling, but sure. Tam, I'd like to take a tree branch and use my woodcarver's tools to whittle yes. a stake. Yes. <laughs> yes. I... I'm I'm joking. There, I'm not. There's actually do a, that, fallen is, tree, there's a fallen tree. There's a fallen tree. I was gonna say, is there anything nearby that I can secure my rope to without having? There are there are. There's ridiculous. a big tree right on one edge of it. That Wonderful. Would be good. And there are uh, other trees I am going way. to see if I can tie my rope to that, and then basically just climb that down the hole. Okay, I would consider that a basic skill. So, you All know, right. going back to uh, something that I promised. Uh, some people, I think, previously, I'll just be like, I could get us down there if we really wanted to. Varo, you could scout out and the rope we can use to come back up, but if we need to get down there fast enough to, to support Vara, I can cast a spell and we could just jump down. Sounds fun. I Varo Badger nods, knowing what the spell is. I feel like. Maybe I don't. Never mind. Varo Badger looks confused. Who 
cast Feather Paul in that one time? No, there was Tikaris, wasn't there? That was me. No. That was oh, that was you. Okay, cool. Bard thinks that's what you're talking about and will nod. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just secure the rope, but we don't need to. Just, just, just in case something dangerous happens to Vara. Um, as far as I understand, Hyrax has already probably tied this rope. <laughs> okay, um, then, then I'll just wait till Vara starts dig, um, going down, and I'll jump down to time a feather fall, and make sure that anybody might could just designate all of us for the spell as I'm falling. Mm. All right. I put my nose to the ground and I start sniffing and I head in. I'm going to try to stealth in. <laughs> okay. You end up. I would like to point out for ahead of time, Tam, that as a gloom stalker, while I'm in darkness, I'm invisible to any creature that relies on dark Whoa. vision to see me. Right. Cool. No problem. Because while I'm in darkness, I am useless. <laughs> so. <laughs> Sam. <laughs> See, I'm going This go is going to be good. You enter down into the tunnel and it heads off to the west. And you can see it goes a ways and there's another pit. I'm going to go peer into the pit. You can't make out the bottom of it. Okay, it is. Is that another ledge on this side? Uh, yes, it is. That little outcropping Ooh. of it, not an entire ledge along the whole thing, but... Do I smell anything interesting? Jesus Christ. Give me a perception check. I have advantage because I am badger. Not enough players use sense of smell. Just want to stress that enough. Ooh. I got a 25. <laughs> oh my word. Ooh. Uh well, you obviously I'm smell chilling. everyone in your group around you because you know you've just had a battle, no one's bathed. We yeah, um, we need a <laughs> bath. <laughs> wow. You smell you smell the unmistakable funk of two goblins uh somewhere ahead of you. Uh, you don't get the sense of anything from down in the pit. It's just an emptiness. And there's another smell that you're picking up. It's faint. It's the, It's almost like the scent of honey and Ooh. fresh flowers. Ooh, that can be really good or really bad. So, cool. It's not. Um... So am I behind Vara? That's what I'm getting is like uh, go ahead and drop your ahead. tokens. You can see the area there and just figure out where you're at. Right. A little grassy uh, spot. Looks good. Can I can I at this moment just take a moment for myself and clasp my necklace and cast mage armor on myself? Absolutely. Very good idea. Um I would like to hmm, let's see. Vara can't talk with me while she's an animal, can she? I cannot. Uh, the thing is, like, I can't even use speak with animals because you're you're not technically an animal. You're still intelligent. Oh, oh. Or, no, no. Wait a minute. No, you're a beast, so it would work. It doesn't rely on intelligence. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, I'm going to use my primal awareness to cast speak with animals, and I'm going to ask, uh, what do you smell? Um, I smell a lot of things. You're all very stinky, might I say. Um, I can trace the two goblins. I can't smell much into the pit. Um, there's a, a, a weird kind of sweet scent, floral maybe. Um, I, I can't really tell where it's coming from. Uh, Tam, does this line up with whatever knowledge I have of dryads? Or nymphs, not dryads. Give me, um, let's go with uh, either, this is a, either nature or history. 
just to okay, choose. I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with nature. I have the higher modifier in that. Okay. All right. That is a seventeen. Hmm. Have you ever encountered a nymph before, Hyrax? No, I haven't thought too much on what adventures he's had. I'm not sure he has specifically encountered them but if he hasn't he's heard stories okay then let's base it off the stories you have heard um there are several different types of nymphs the ones you would be most used to being from satessa uh, would be the alsaid which are the 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 bringers of growth and and fields and all the wonderful stuff like that right. um so that smell of flowers and things that might be associated, especially if a nymph was living in here, it's very possible there's an underground gar garden in this place. But as you look around you and you see, there are plants in here, obviously. Um, mm. They don't seem to be growing and some of them don't look well. In fact, there are a few that look like they may be on the edge of wilting. If there is a nymph in here, then she's struggling. More than ever, I want to know what's going on. I don't Please. see the end of this chasm. I'll just kind of like look down in there and I don't see the other side. Is it possible for us to cross this at all? Uh, I do not see a bottom of the pit. She'll tell Hyrex. Uh. I assume peering down, I would also not see a bottom to the pit. You do not see a bottom of it, no. Hmm. As per the map, the walls look pretty rocky. Are they burrowable or no? They are, they are stone. Okay. But obviously something made this cavern. Because the ground is dirt. Not I don't think. Um, so it's oh, like 20 feet across. Is that about right, Tam? Yep. All right. And you, because of the way the walls angle, you can tell there's thing, you know, land on the other side of this abyss, but you can't get a good view of it. There's no, that's why I didn't draw more of it in. Normally you'd be able to see a little bit farther, but the view's restricted by the walls. How, how craggy is the stone on, this, on either it's, side? It's, it's, it's pretty like... rough. Yeah, there, there's, it's got lots of crooks and crannies in it. Well, technically, I could use a lot of my leftover energy and help us all to fly. Because this seems to be something Crefix wants me to do lately. But I'd be very tired if I tried to do that. So if there's another way. I'm, I'm going to attempt to burrow. I know it looks impossible, but Var is still going to go ahead and try to kind of peck and scratch with her little badger claws. Where are you burrowing? Uh... I'm on the left side, so just the wall next to where my token is. Okay. Man, the player in me just wants to climb this thing, just traverse and climb through. It's um, just like, yeah, hey, you got cracks and everything, but yeah. I know Tolly's not going to make it. It looks pretty climbable, but you know. Uh, so Vara, uh, give me a strength check, please. Or you can do it as a melee attack against the wall if you want to with your claws. Sure. Claws attack. Did that trans did that go? Did that do? Yes, that was an 18. All right. Uh you hit into the rock, uh, roll for damage. Four. And you cause a couple of chips in it, but uh it's very hard rock. So while you will be able to dig into it, it's hurting your claws and it's not like digging in the dirt. Bar kind of makes like a hissing noise. Like a, like a dis, discontent badger noise. Guessing what happened. What, 
happened there was not the result that you wanted. What about some climbing with some fancy rope work? Oh, I left my rope back there. I have rope. Then can I try something? If you don't mind. And he reaches out to see if she will trust him with her rope. Of course. I would love you to have my rope. Thank you. <laughs> um, oh, let's see. So is the ceiling, is like the, the roof of this, is it, also, is it ground or is it like rocky? Um, it's, it's rocky above. So I would say rock, dome, and then dirt floor. Okay. You don't know All how right. deep the dirt goes, though. Tam, I'm going to try something a little crazy. Ooh. And I hope I don't get another character killed. <laughs> I hope I'm, Hyrax is hardier than that. <laughs> I'm going to take uh, one end of this rope, tie it to a javelin, and try and throw it into as hard as I can into the ground on the opposite side of the uh, chasm. Okay. I will say, if you don't get a good, great shot of view, you're not going to have a straight line of sight to throw either. So I'm going to have you do this with disadvantage because it is a very difficult shot. Okay. Uh, does it help well, that it... I'm a sharpshooter who ignores cover? <laughs> Everything but total cover. All right. You get a straight roll. Also, yeah. also, uh, picking up what he's putting down right now, I will give him a bardic inspiration, seeing him kind of do the tying and stuff. I'll just be like, yeah, you could definitely see a lot better than any of us to the other side. That is a 24 to hit. Ooh. I would say that's a hit. Nice. That's good enough. You didn't even need the bardic inspiration. It's, it sticks into the dirt on the other side. As Ooh. the javelin buries itself, I'm going to give a couple of tugs to test it. I'm going to say it holds. All right. Uh, the question is whether to like climb up, like just go down and climb up it or whether to try and secure it somewhere over here and do like the go along it. Um, um, as soon as you, as soon as you get the, the javelin on to the other side, and I see you tug, tug at it a couple times, I'll just go, why don't we put it close to one side? I, it's going to be pretty easy to find footholds in, in this rough rock. And if we have something to secure it with the rope, we could probably grab onto the rope and just traverse it from here. Mm. And I'll look and... Uh, I guess I have a, a dagger that I, I could just hand out. I'll just be like, this is a pretty sturdy dagger. We can probably hold this side of the rope here, this way. As long as it lines close to the wall, we can traverse across. I, and I'll just, I'll just kind of point over to the left side where it seems like there's like a little bit of a lip there. I'll just be like, there are footholds. So... Basically, if, if I'm understanding, the player understanding, your idea is to shimmy along the side of the chasm and use the rope as basically a, an improvised handrail. Yes. Makes sense to me. Um, Hyrax nods in agreement. So, a sound plan. I'll go first. Might as well test the integrity of my throw. Okay. I'm going to try and shimmy across, DM. All right. Let's have an acrobatics check, please. Ooh, thank acrobatics? God. Oh, oh thank no. Thank God. <laughs> I, was, I was hoping for athletics, but damn. Uh, I, I hear you. I know it makes sense. Almost kind of a tightrope-y kind of thing. Uh... Acrobatics is going to be a six. <laughs> you I'm are not acrobatic. You are making your way along it, and 
doing fairly good, but when you get to that first outcropping, there's something slick. You, hard to say exactly what it is, but your foot slips out from under you. You slide off the side of it, and your hand comes loose from the rope as you begin to fall. From the rope? From the rope. Uh, definitely you, reaction you jerk. to the fall again. I'm a reaction feather fall. I don't know how long it's gonna last, but I'll just I'll just go. You're slowed down for a little bit. Did, Try to grab onto anything. Did you use your bardic inspiration on that roll, by the way? I did not uh, use my bardic inspiration <laughs> on that. Roll. Not that I okay. think it'll help much. Is it a, what is it? A D six, D eight, D eight. It's a D eight. It's a D eight. But I, I realized okay. you didn't. <laughs> yeah, you, you didn't All use right. the bardic inspiration. Yeah, that six is, is pretty bad. A, that is a six on the inspiration dice. That's a 12 overall. Okay. Oh. You're still going to slip, but you're going to be able to maintain a grip on the rope. Nice. Okay. Yes. Yep. Okay. Maintaining the grip on the rope, I'm going to try and pull myself back up. Okay. Uh, and continue moving. I think that's going to be another acrobatics check. But being shaken a little bit from having done this, uh, no inspiration or anything on this, right? It's just a straight roll. No inspiration. All right, let's see how it goes. All right. Um, hold on. Before you do, before before you roll, sorry, did you already roll? Uh, yes, I did. Okay, never mind then. Unfortunate. <laughs> uh, I rolled a twelve plus two is fourteen. You are able to make it farther along, get past the edge of that. Uh and slowly but shakily make your way across to the other side. Okay. I'll just look down at Badger Vara and just- Yeah, I know, I give like a toothy grin like, who's next? <laughs> I was like, I don't suppose you're gonna stay like that for this particular endeavor. Uh, if I don't, then I can't go back, so. I mean, so as a badger, I feel like I could pretty deftly just like cling to the wall, right? Yeah, you've got claws. I think it might help you along the way. I think it's still going to be an acrobatics check. Sure. Let's go for it. Okay. Badger dex isn't amazing. Same as Vara Dex, actually. Eleven. I'm sorry? Eleven? You're going to slip. Now, in badger form, I assume you're not holding on to the rope. No. So, Vara's going to slip. Whee! <laughs> uh, I just, I'll, like, like keep my claws. Can I keep my claws on the wall at all to where I'm, like, slowly You hear this. <laughs> Yeah, perfect. <laughs> now can I cast Feather Fall so that she can hold on a little better while she's slow falling? <laughs> More reaction to the Feather uh, Fall and just be like, you're slowed down, try to get, just try to get another handhold. So you're falling <laughs> slowly for a long time. Oh boy. Camera's out too. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! She fell. She fell right off no. the stream. Jeez, she fell off the stream. <laughs> Not oh, this moment. God. Oh, but it's a great. It's yes. a great. It's a great screen to be stuck on. So. Oh. And I meant. I meant claws. I meant claws. I said hands. I meant claws. Oh. Oh, thanks, Z. Oh, man, <laughs> we've come so far, and we're getting killed by a pit. You know. Oh. You know, at level six, <laughs> I, I get a natural climbing speed. That would have been nice to have now. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Oh, just put together a simple little side quest, Tam. That's all you need to do. Everybody will be fine. Everything will go oh, great. Yeah. Yes, I know the camera's messed up. We're waiting for... Uh, I'm going to go for, get um, some snacks. I'll be to right join back. back. Okay. Sounds good. We may be a moment. <laughs> While Vara's falling, what is everybody else going to do? <laughs> I mean, I, 
I would say I would venture across as well, seeing as this is half of my idea. But at the same time, I think I'm a little bit more concerned about the falling friend more than crossing the chasm. So I really want to make sure. <laughs> totally. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> is there any way with the uh, with the feather fall? reaction uh for var to be able to attempt another role to kind of hold on or is she just gonna i, I think she's gonna be slipping way and, through i would say she slipped away and you know she's tried to stick to the wall with the feather fall and if she was here i might judge this differently but since she's not i'm gonna say it probably pushed her a little bit away from the wall you know so mm. there's not really anything to grip onto with her with her role so She's 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 gonna keep going down for a little bit. <sighs> mm. Okay. okay go no, go ahead. No, 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 go go for it. I was just wondering where the other end of the rope is. Is it possible to throw the other end of the rope? Is it still up here? Because people. I was hoping to... somebody was holding on to it on your side. <laughs> yeah, like oh, well, I thought. I thought it was. I, I put a dagger into the. Floor oh, okay. So you've got to help by the dagger. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So it's still secure. Yeah. So it's secured on each end. Could we throw that down real quick? I was wondering. Possible. Yeah. How long's the rope? Did you have something, Tolly? No. Fifty feet, have... by the way. I yeah. think. Yeah, I think if it's fifty feet, I would. I'd say immediately just kind of unravel it from the dagger, the the dagger slash python that we just had, and just kind of swing it down and yeah, mention it to her. I'd be okay. helping if that helps. If, if we if we can help each other and get that yeah. done better, I would help you. I would just race to do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good one. I like that All idea. Right. And sorry, I'm having camera adjustment issues as people are popping around all over the place. There we go. I think everybody's back in the right place. Uh, so Moira. Hi. <laughs> I you fell off the you, stream. You, you fell. You <laughs> fell out of broadband range. Apparently, I'm glad you're able to get back uh -huh. into internet. Um, oh, I, I super duper. Uh, I have one of those power strips that has a button on it that turns the whole power strip off, and I keep it by my feet because I'm dumb. So I just, <laughs> I just kind of, you know, accidentally may, turned may, my whole power strip off. May I side story for a moment? Oh yeah. I worked. I worked for a company where they the MIS director put our vax on one of those this is many years ago micro vax okay which is a small mainframe computer on a surge protector yeah and he was tapping his foot under the desk and cut the power oh yeah it took a week and a half to get the machine back online so <laughs> i'm glad i didn't take that <laughs> don't long. feel well, bad Gosh, dude, I turned it off, and then as soon as I turned it off, I thought there was a power outage, and I looked by, and one of my, my lights was still on, and then I, like, had this moment, knowingly, where I, I went to turn my computer back on, and I remembered that I saw the little, like, Windows update uh, thing in the corner, and so as soon as I turned it back on, because it turned off, it forced the updates, I, had to, I sat there, like, with my head in my hands as it <laughs> updated the computer, because I turned it off. That was great. I, I feel like my camera's closer. Am I crazy? What's happening? No, it looks the same. Oh, it looks okay. Okay. Yeah. So well, good news. You, while while you were see. gone, we uh figured out how to how to maybe uh save you because uh we undid the rope from the the dagger slash python that we had and just swung it down as we as we we're like, Vara, use the rope. The rope's coming down too. Nice. And so yeah. give me a dexterity feet. check and let's see if you can grab that rope. But mm -hmm. since you are in the dark. Well, you have not. You have dark vision. You're a badger. I'm a badger. Yep. You don't have hands, though. So let's see if you can claw this rope. I'm not sure how I this is going to work. And my dex isn't amazing as badger. So it's technically what an acrobatics or just a straight dex? Straight dex. Great. Seven. Oh, good. No. Oh. And <laughs> she tries to lash out with her claws to get it, and it just right on by. <laughs> Nice. As she continues okay. to fall. Just slowly but fall. Feather fall slowly. And uh, eventually, you feel ground underneath your feet. It's rocky, 
you are in a pit that is apparently stone all the way around, except for the opening at the top, which is air. Oh, nice. Okay. About how, how far it? down is she? Uh, if she would like to make a guesstimation on how far she fell, I will let her do that with, uh, I'll give you a kind of a, let's do nature or survival, one of those. Admittedly, Vara is so much more focused on what is around her rather than where, how far she fell. <laughs> um, so that's going to be her first thing is getting her bearings on if there's any threats nearby. Okay. Well, in that case, give me a perception check. Sick. Can I sniff? <laughs> no, never mind. I'll just use my eyes. That would be silly. <laughs> Immediately you fall. Can, no, you can use whatever you want to use. I'm fine. You know, it's. I got a sixteen. Look, you for using my little badger eyes. Um, you appear to be the only living thing down here. Excellent. Well, let me move myself into the pit. There we go. Um. Cool. I'm going to start just trying to climb back up. Ideally at the end. So I'll kind of saunter over to where I think the wall should be to get okay. back up. And well, you can, you can see, and it's the reason nobody could, you look up and with your dark vision, you can't see the top rim. Yeah. So you know you've fallen at least farther than your vision range would allow you to see. Is there anything strange? So I know there's no threats. Is there anything strange? Is there more sign of decay is there, there there's life? definitely there's probably been some animals or stuff that have fallen into this pit at various times uh so there are their remains but they would have been here for a long time so there's this okay. nice there's this nice floor of decayed material what on earth is tremor sense Oh, that's a cave badger. Okay, it's, I'm a giant badger. I was like, sense. I was like, what you is that? You can tell if giant, okay. worm, if giant worms are coming after you. Ah, no, I don't. I am giant. Do the earth just swallowed her up? I didn't know um, cave badger was an option. Cool, yeah, I'm going to try to start climbing back up, ideally. Uh, Hyrax is going to squat down and call out, Vara, are you down there? Squeak twice for yes. I squeak twice. <laughs> All right. What is your squeak? What do you squeak? Me is beast. Presum is is speak with animals still? Uh, speak with animals still active? <laughs> yeah. What's the range on your speak with animals? Oh, uh, let's see. Is there a range? Let me take a look. Uh, it's it, it's range self. It's just I perceive. Okay. So you should uh, be fine. You should be fine to communicate with her. I'm going to say you can. All right. Uh, yeah. She calls up to me. And judging by the echo, Tam, with my hyper perception, <laughs> can I judge roughly? Hyrax is echo locating right now. <laughs> give me, give me a perception how far check. It's echoing give me a perception from. check. I can I tell will... you right now, it's anywhere between sixty feet and six hundred feet because you can't see the, the gr ground. Six, yeah, <laughs> she didn't take damage, so. Right. I'm sorry. Twenty-three what did you on say? perception. Twenty-three. Uh, your best guesstimation would be 70 to 80 feet. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, she's not too far down. If anyone wants to run back to the entrance and get my rope, I could just try and tie it to this one. She could still climb up. Well, I want to give credence to, she said she was already going to try and climb up, so if she's going to try yeah. and climb Fair up, enough. Yeah. Uh, let's Better. have that uh, acrobatics check. I mean, unless you have a climb speed. I no, I just a bird. I mean, is it? Can you wild shape into something else that can climb up? I'm out of wild shapes because I used oh, one for the battle no. earlier, and we have not rested. That's true. Which is why I was hesitant to change out of badger. Um, I no, I only have the burrowing. Am I Kate? Is the wall stone? Still, it's stone. It it's stone all here? the way around. You've got this this silt kind of decayed material on the floor, but it's only like an inch or so deep, and it's rock underneath that. Nice use of silt. That was great. Okay. Um, <laughs> I I love the soil triangle. Okay, I'm gonna try to climb the wall just with my little badger claws. All right. Which would be what another dex? Ac acrobatics. 
Let's do it. Do, 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 do. 19. All right. Uh, so you begin to climb this thing and this wall is apparently not as, as smoothed out, has much better uh, climbing points in it. Uh, it's almost like maybe somebody's tried to climb their way out of this before, maybe uh, cut some stuff into the edges that makes it a little bit easier for you, and you climb your way out. Nice. And Hyrax, you see as these claws come up over the edge, followed by a badger. Never mind. I'm impressed. Well done. I make like a like a chirp, chattered noise, like cats do sometimes. Like is it like, literally sh- just a noise that means nothing? Yeah, no, oh, like wonderful. even like you'll you'll notice that sometimes be, since you're doing talk with animals, like sometimes Vara is going to speak like a human to you, but sometimes Vara is like mimicking what she thinks Badger sound like, just like oh, playing the part. That's wonderful. <laughs> I love that. So it's like a chatter noise, and it is legitimately her. Just like you probably hear like a, a strained attempt at a chatter noise. <laughs> that was that's very so cute. Badgery of you. <laughs> she like looks. She looks so accomplished by that. She saw. <laughs> she saw Badger once in a port, <laughs> so she's doing her best. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now it, now the onus comes to us. Yes, and the rope is now down the pit. I'm going to draw the rope up from where it was down the pit. Get a javelin uh, in the back. <laughs> no, uh, here, Ptolemaeus, catch. <laughs> yeah, probably javelin or dart it back. Either one. Um, I think I established that my darts are probably sizable enough to tie a rope to. Uh, yeah. But a javelin, like lawn like, darts. Yes, it's a, it's basically a plumbata, which is what a uh, which is what lawn darts essentially are. Yep, I have a quiver of them. Um, yeah, uh, I'll just I'll do it with another javelin. I have five of them. I will right. step out of the way. Hold on, <laughs> give me. Me too. I'm hiding. I'm hiding. Yeah, he would tell you to stand clear. <laughs> Um, raise it over his head and throw it. And Tam, I assume you're going to ask me to roll for it. Let's do it again. again. Yeah. Second verse, same as the first. That yep. is 17 plus. I that's good it's enough. Six. Yeah. That's going to be so good. 23. Enough. Yeah. Yep. All right. So it thunks into the ground. If it thunks into the ground, I will now pick up my dagger, just kind of like pull it out of the dirt, and I'll just go. Tikros, why don't I go first so that I don't get stranded in the middle and everybody's just watching me on the other side if I fail? Sounds smart. Okay. Uh, I will go for it the same route. In, in fact, mm-hmm. hold on. Um, before I do that, can I do any sort of like a, a kind of just an eyeing nature check on this side because i saw this the side that he slipped on right it's like mm-hmm. it's fairly close can i notice or try to see if there's the same slipperiness or like the smoothness on the other side do you have dark vision i don't have dark vision that's why i'm just no, like looking can't. at the front the front part <laughs> there's not much light down here so i'm gonna say no you're not gonna be able to see far enough to uh to see that where where it's moved. Eh, yep. You know what? I'll just go for the left side. And it's the path that I've seen travel. So into you're the you're dark you're going to basically be doing this by feel because it is dark down here. As soon as you move away from that entrance, it's dark. So if that's the case, I will have like the rope. I'll have it under my arms like this. Okay. And then and then I'll I'll hold on to to the side. But then at the same time, I'll just use that. And kind of like any sort of tension I have from the two javelins, and then feel the uh, the the footholds. Okay. Very and, good. Uh, Acrobatics, the, please. That is surprisingly an eighteen. All right. Now you so, you make your way to that outcropping, and as you get close to it, it re, you know you think for a moment. Wait a minute. This is this is where the slip happened. You edge your way around that, and lose sight of everything around you you are now in the dark as you make your way around by feel from this and 
you get close, you can kind of tell, hear the breathing of Hyrax and, and Vara because there's nothing else down here. It's just darkness and the sound of your feet on the wall and their breathing as you get closer. And eventually you make it to the other side and you feel ground under your feet. Okay. I'll, I'll just kind of like blindly, like as soon as I touch ground, I'll just very gingerly step up. I'm just like, have, am I there? Have I crossed it? Is there, is there anything else? Can I, can I, can I let go now? Is it, is it fine? You're, you're here. Calm down. Okay. I can't see anything at all. Um, I'll just keep my hands on the left side as I kind of move forward. And I'll just, all right, it's gross. It's good. Okay. Um, you know what? Something I really should have done earlier. I'm just talking to myself and I'll just cast dancing lights out. 120 feet across the chasm. I like it better this way, and I really should have thought of this before. Nice. Really, really would have helped me, I, <laughs> I feel. <laughs> yes. Yes, it would have. And look, you know I'm forgetful. It's fine. So... It's, but you got this. I, I believe in you. Um, I'll give her a bardic inspiration. Hey, <laughs> right. so I'm going to make my way across. The pit right. following my companions. Acrobatics, and you remember you've got a bardic inspiration. Should you uh okay. on that D8? Plus a D8 if I need it. Let's go. Oh my god. I rolled an eight, so I'm gonna use that <laughs> bardic inspiration. Hey, seen, these numbers sound familiar. Where have oh, you heard these before? Come on. Let's go an eight bardic inspiration. Oh my god, it's an eight! Let's go. <laughs> Excellent. Sixteen. All right. You make oh. your way across the lights dancing across the wall as you kind of sprint your way along it to the other side. My bar oh. inspiration's been coming in clutch. Amazing. Oh, I, Thank that's you. That's why. Oh, D8, dude. Holy crap. <laughs> it's crazy. So, uh, anyone without dark vision, uh, you are in darkness now. Except, oh, I guess, vision? except the lights. Are you going to move the lights with you? I can do. They will last. Oh, it will last up to a minute. So I can keep casting it. It's a cantrip. So yeah. I can keep casting so it you, if we want light. That'll be good then. All right. That's what I'll assume you're doing. Yep. Unless uh, somebody tells me to stop. I would like to scout ahead outside the range of the light if I could. Okay. And I'm like, good with yeah. that as long as she is. <laughs> She's in charge of the lights. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So I've got 120 feet range on it. So. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <Buy it>. um. <laughs> yeah i've got 120 feet range so i will be trusting your smarts to kind of help me out because i'll be like i'll be having trouble like uh i'm not sure about feet just tell me where you want to put them she's not sure about feet because she has hooves yep yeah um how how much light does the dancing lights give you God, like, um, it is eliminate? four torch sized lights or one vaguely humanoid form of medium size. So I could do little pockets, I could do four little pockets. Yeah, just how, how much do they shine for? Like, to what distance? Yeah, um, say. 10 foot radius each light. Okay. Yeah, how about just keep the lights around us, just you and I? That can't see in the dark that well and then i'm assuming you wanted to scout ahead you said if you don't mind we should probably come with some some sort of a signal Agreed. silently uh, hmm, a silent signal okay um I don't have anything. Uh, Let's see, do I do have something? <clears throat> Could always just throw something. If, if I'm in danger and trouble, I'll yell, Oh my God, help me, it's going to kill me! That's very silent, yes. <laughs> that is so <laughs> silent. Um, uh, right before he, he leaves, I'll just kind of point at the quiver and I'll just go, Maybe throw one of these to the ground in front of us if there's trouble. 
All right. That should work. We'll follow right behind that. Mm. Uh, I'm actually going to turn to Vara. How far ahead do you smell that sweet scent? I'll start sniffing. It's really hard to tell distance, per se, um, because you don't have anything to relate it to. You're in an enclosed space. Uh, give me a perception check with disadvantage, please. As Bradger have advantage, so it evens straight out roll. to just a straight roll. Yep. Yeehaw. 15 plus 6, 21. That's still awesome. Um, at least uh, 150, 200 feet, maybe? I will say that. Um, likely 200 feet, maybe a little mm. less, maybe more. It's, it's hard to tell. I think we should move as quietly as possible until we know what we're dealing with. And uh, if everyone would just stand together for a moment. He reaches up and out of his armor digs a uh, necklace that's hanging around his neck and on the end of it is a uh, falcon claw and he grabs it closes his eyes and whispers something and casts it whispers something in sylvan and casts pass without trace can i can i know what he said because i know sylvan oh i also know <laughs> sylvan uh, what he said is May you all move as silently as uh, as a bird of prey. Oh, that's beautiful. May you move. May you move as silently as a badger in the wood. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> My claws badger are like is... slinking on the ground, like <laughs> like when you She's hear a like dog a... like running on the hardwood surface, and it's like <laughs> She's like a badger <laughs> as silent as an eagle. <laughs> hey, excellent. All right, uh, Hyrax, as you move farther down the pathway, you begin to hear the light trickle of water. Not a fast moving, but just definitely the sounds of water. And when you make your way around the corner, there is in fact a small stream flowing through the corner of this cavern. Okay. Okay. I'll take note of it, but Assuming it's not an opt obstacle, I am going to keep creeping through. All right. Do I do everything else here has appeared unwell? I do want to know does 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 the uh, does the stream look like it's contaminated in some way, or does it look? It it like actually it does look a little like murky. Not not bad, but the plant material that's in it, as you're watching, it seems to wilt somewhat therefore causing the water to get even less clear. I see, I see. Yeah, this is no good. I'm going to, yeah, keep stealthing ahead. All right. You make your way through that little twist there, and mm -hmm. up ahead, you see another. Oh, my God. Oh, but this one is only, what, 10, 15 feet across? Yep. Uh, I'm going to take a run and jump. I'm going to stop stealthing and just do a long jump across it. Okay. Uh, with 10 feet of lead up, I should be able to clear it without even a check. All right. You jump across, land on the other side. And as you do, with your, as you jump across, just looking around, you notice there's a set of ball marks. You can see a set of footprints, goblin shape, and a set of claw marks that kind of scratch and disappear to the, down the edge of the cliff. The footprints, uh, however, proceed deeper in. Okay. Yep. I am going to continue following these. Uh, you know what? Hmm. 
being that I've already alerted whoever I alerted it by jumping across, I'm going to call back, not too loudly, but because it's not a super long gap, I'm going to call back uh, more goblin tracks on the other side of this chasm. Seems like one may have gone in and the other's still gone through. We follow. Yeah. Keep going. There's a narrowing in the path here. There's this large stone in the middle. The path goes to either side of it, but it's definitely narrowed. Mm -hmm. A little bit tighter. And it's like, is it like a column that extends from the top to the yep, bottom? In all my... the way top to bottom. Got you. Is there anything notable about it, or is it just random natural formation? Give me an investigation in check. Okay. Uh, that is a five. Uh, there's some scratchings in it, but you can't make anything out of it. It's like they've probably been there for a while. Maybe they were something at some point, but fair enough. They've aged away. Um, I will actually also call back. Do any of you need help getting over? No. Pro probably. I'll just kind of look over. It was just like, how far is the jump? Tam, is it? Uh, it looks about ten feet to me. It's a little. It's around ten feet. Yeah, say twelve. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll we can jump it, it. Ten feet. Um. If anyone needs, I can stand on the other side and catch you. Oh, that would be fun. Just anyway, but I'm pretty good at jumping. I am not, so I will take your. I will take your help. Very well. And uh, he's going to stand at the other side and wait for Ptolemaeus to jump and see if he can Yay. catch him. All right. The athletics, I suppose. Uh, well, oh. if you so if you have 10 feet of lead up before the jump, you should be able to long jump up to your strength score. Yep. Um, so what is an athletics check, I suppose? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I technically can clear eight before I need to like and then know, I, push it. And then if you stretch out your arms and I stretch out my arms, I might be able to catch you after eight feet. Yeah, so Which so I'm gonna put gonna... I'm gonna put that on one of you to do a dex check. Uh dexterity dex if dexterity wise I think I should they do it. I'm a plus four. Oh wait dex check I have a plus one. Just straight dex, right? Yep. Hyrax I'm I'm assuming your hands are out. He can grab them is what I'm looking at from this direction then. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Unless so you want to, you could always check. point a you could always point a spear out, and that way, even if he doesn't grab the spear, you might be able. That's to true. I will hold out the blunt. Him. I will hold out the blunt end of one no, of no, my no, three remaining No, no, no. Use the sharp javelins. end because that. One... <laughs> and then I accidentally randomly clear the entire things, <laughs> impale myself. You know, yeah, one of those. Does it give him? Does it give him any kind of advantage if I do use the uh, the javelin to extend the? You know what? Since I brought up the stupid idea, yeah, I'm going to say that that. Thank gives you. more length across there, so absolutely. All right, so are you at a plus one, and I'm at a plus one? So it's like either or. Oh, I'm at a plus two. Do you want to do the dex check then? I'll I'll, I'll, I'll do, do the dex. Then. I'll do the dex okay. check. All right. That one's going to be the one. That is a dirty 20. That's going to be good enough. Uh, so he extends out the blunt end of the javelin, and uh, as Ptolemaeus reaches out and catches it, he quickly pulls him in and grabs his arm and sort of swings him over to the other side. You all right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Sure. Reaches over, gives him a pat on the back. Good. We should keep moving. Yeah. Slides the uh, javelin back into place on his back. Nice work, Tolly. I'll just kind of give like two thumbs up or something. <laughs> then I realize that she also can't see. So it's just like, 
Oh no, my lights, my lights are still up. My oh, you just went there. through it across. Uh. <laughs> just, yeah. All right. So I'm going to say because of the amount of space in here, if Ptolemaeus is over here with uh, Irax, uh, there's not room for anyone else to come across yet. So somebody's okay. going to have to go on the other side of the stone column. Or stop, stretch, you know, squished between it. Uh, all right, yeah, so did you say we can get through the column? Sorry, I was having a quick... Yeah, you, it's a squeeze, but you can get through. Yep. All right. I will try... I will, I will go first, trying to squeeze past this column in case there's okay. something going on here. Right. Being that there are only two narrow passages that everyone has to take, it's a perfect place to set a trap. <laughs> so I'll keep an eye out. All right. It's okay. You make it through to the other All side. Right. And then you are immediately struck by a couple of smells. One oh, no. is one is that funky goblin smell. And the other is, it's kind of like the smell of honey and flowers, but the flowers have wilted. The flowers are not fresh. It's kind of rotten, decaying plant material. Something is blighting this land. I want to know what. Uh, this is the part where I will certainly be stealthing again. All right. And keeping out of light. You just let me know if I need to roll stealth at some point. <laughs> I, if I thought there was anything that would be carrying, I would let you know. Uh, you Very make nice. your way into uh -huh. the room, and something in the center of the room stirs. You didn't see it before. What kind of catches your eye is you see that movement and then your foot runs into something on the ground. You couldn't see it in the overgrowth of this area, but there's a dead goblin lying at your feet. How do I, how does it look like it died? Uh, it looks singed. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> don't like that. Don't like that. I see. And what does this creature in this middle of the room look like, if I can recognize it? It's vaguely human formed, humanoid shape. Um, appears to have a masculine physique, but looks as though it's covered in leaves. But some of those leaves have turned brown and fallen off. So kind of like a Kind of like a tree uh, as you're approaching the winter months. I see. Okay. And it raises its hand to you and says, Don't! I immediately step back. And does it say don't in... Whatever Just the Theros com version of Common Theros lang language, yeah. All right. You do not look well. What? Are you with that thing? Absolutely not. I came down here because I was curious what was blighting this land. I am. I'm a ranger of Satan. Blighting the land. R ranger. And at this point it moves and you can see it is bleeding profusely from its side. Are we all in range? Uh, no, only Hyrax is in the room. You may be able to hear some of this, but that would be it because nobody else has jumped across yet. Yeah, can I attempt to cross? We've sure. got to hurry up. Have goblins been hurting you? Just 
<laughs> this one did. What do they want down here? I don't know. There's nothing. There's nothing yeah. here. If I may, I'd like to try and help. Fine. And as you move closer and the creature moves and its blood floors out, you see the plants around it as its blood hit just wilt. And more of the plants. Uh this was a well... I mean, just grown over with plants everywhere room. But they are browning and dying. I would like to use my last second level spell slot to cast a second level Cure Wounds. Uh, okay. Reaching out for his wound. Whispering a prayer to Satessa. Or not not Satessa, uh, Nylea. Okay. <laughs> yeah, same thing. Not just joking. A about prayer you. to the city. <laughs> no, no. no. Pray to the city. I don't, I don't think Nylea would like me praying to a city, but uh... <laughs> I mean, Red Hot Chili Peppers wrote a song to a city, so why not? Sure. <laughs> da, 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 uh, so that is. Into it. I <laughs> attempt to heal him for fifteen uh, health. All right, you cast this, and. You feel <clears throat> as the the energy leaves you, but there is no effect on his body. It's it's something I tried as well. It's something on the on their arrow. It it, it burns, and it's and you can see now that you're closer that it's not just a wound and not just blood. It's like something expanding it's like just this darkness that seems to be eating away at the creature's body anything i've tried is is not working i i have more friends at least one of them seems to be very in tune with nature it's possible that she could help me, but i'd like if all of them could look at you would you accept that Except for as long as I have. And you can see as it's creeping and growing across. Uh, and again, as blood falls with this dark ooze attached to it, anything it touches is just withering. Hyrax just turns and calls out. Um, we don't have much time. Please get up here. Okay. I'll come. Yeah. Immediately get, get there. Yeah. All right, so... Yeah. Tikaros, I believe you were going to jump across. Vara, how are you yeah. planning to get across? <clears throat> I'm just going to do a little badger claw climb action again. All right. Uh, Tikaros, uh, as Sam mentioned earlier, you got a running leap chance, whatever your strength is. Is it going to yep. be enough yep. to get across? It's not, but satyrs have this really cool thing called mirthful leaps. That so is I'll true. just add a D8 and I'll just awesome. probably make it. Yeah, I can jump 14 feet, okay. so I'll be able to cool. clear it. You're, you're cleared. Uh, Vara, let's have that acrobatics uh, check. Did Yeehaw! You attempt to... That's a you can 13. Okay. That's a 13. <laughs> oh, I thought there might be some add-ons on to that. A, no. Wait a minute, so a giant badger doesn't have at least 10 strength? Oh, it was an acrobatics. Because well, he's glad. saying, could you? He's no. saying, could you? Could you, you leap just, it? Yeah, yeah. If you had ten, you just take, ten take a strength, long jump. Can, just yeah. long jump. I, I have thirteen strength. Only oh, yeah. leaping badgers, back Yeah, man. cool. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't know leaping badgers was an option. I would I, love to do that. Go for it. You will believe a badger can fly. So what do I do? I roll strength. Or uh, do I no, it should it? just. It should just clear. happen. If, if you've got enough you have strength, feet, do it. Run and jump. Hell yeah. And you do. You have a 10 feet, 10 foot leeway in front. Cool. So. Yeah, I, I badger ambled my way over. <laughs> cool. Cool. Sorry about the confusion on that. All right. No, very you're good. good. So, as... all of you, as you make your way in, you see this uh, leafy creature who is slowly wilting and turning black in front of you, and everything that its blood touches, the ground, the plants, is just taking on this black dark look where is it wounded 
in its right hand side, but the wound is so large now, I would say it's over, it's past its midsection. So, yeah. <laughs> like this Rex big hear... half moon wilted yeah, out. Yeah, Hyrax would hear Vara kind of like grumble, like, well, an amputation isn't an option. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's just going to turn to Vara. Healing magic doesn't seem to work. It's as it though is. some sort of poison or other affliction. A curse, maybe? And I will use this time to to kind of feel around that kind of blight with my with with kind of like an arcane sense, I guess. I'll just cast dispel magic to see if there's anything to dispel with this blight. Okay. Um Yeah. Uh what level? Uh, it's a third level. It's just a dispel. Uh, I'm just choosing any sort of magical effect, and if it is a spell of third level or lower, it just ends. If it is okay. a spell of fourth level or higher, then I have to make it an ability check. Right. If it is a spell. Right. Uh, there is no effect on it. Okay. It's not a magical curse or anything. That's all I can do, other than healing magic. Any ability to remove poisons, any of the three of you. I've got mending. That doesn't quite apply, I don't think, in this situation. I can try to wash it clean, shake water, if there's water nearby. There is water nearby, but even the, that water was contaminated. Mm -hmm. No, I, do, I don't have many options. I, I have a little bit of healing myself, but if that doesn't work, then... Uh, Tam, panicking, I'm going to head over to the dead... Well, not panicking, but but in t feeling intense, trying to deal with it somehow. I'm going to head over to the dead goblin and examine its weapons to see exactly what has caused this. Okay. Uh, the arrows have spilled out of its quiver, and they're they're look like normal arrows except for the tip of it it's like it's been dipped in something black and it's it's just a solid black material over it mm. okay uh yeah it's awful um I don't think I have anything either cuz I it would be nice if we knew what this material was. Um I mean, you might as well try and wash it out with water. For all. Now, uh, so you attempted a healing spell. Uh, healing spirit is also just kind of a healing spell technically. But it's a nature spirit. So would that make a difference at all? Or is that just semantics? How close are all of you standing to this creature? I'm I feel standing. like I'm right next to him. I'm right next to him. I moved over to the goblin corpse. I, okay. I would be right next to him on the other side trying to... I Because I tried to dispel whatever if it was a curse mm -hmm. or whatnot. The The icker, the ooze that has been coming with the blood and causing this wilting, is approaching your feet. And you notice that it's not just kind of a round shape, it's actually almost like it's intentionally moving in the direction of Vara and Ptolemaeus's feet, the closest people. Oh. Ugh. It might be intelligent. You got a symbiote in here or something? What the heck? Oh, jeez. I'm going to sidestep and see if it follows me. So I'm just going to kind of... Boop. It's very slow because it's only as it's bleeding out and expanding. Uh, so it'll take a moment or two to find out. So you as move it's away. Coming, as it's coming towards us, does it seem like it's leaving the creature? Or is oh, it no, it's expanding, expanding outward. And, and it's okay. expanding outward and expanding across the creature's body. Um, I'll kind of look to Hyrax as the only one who can understand me. Um, 
listen, I don't know if we can save this person, but um, we can save ourselves and all the surrounding area if we contain this. I think that's our concern at this point. This, this creature might be done for. But this ooze will take others if we don't stop it. I'm going to uh, turn and address the creature in the middle. Okay, give me Not just certain. a moment because Ptolemaeus, it was moving towards your feet. Did you move or did you stay put? I was actually going to see if I can find... I, I take out a vial and I see if I can try to take a little bit of it. All right. Our so, party loves violing things they shouldn't. As, as you reach down with the vial and get close... Um, Give me an idea. How? What kind of vial are we talking about? Like it's just like a, a small, flask? It's a it's a small like vial, like almost like a perfume, uh, bottle size of a vial that I just want to kind of grasp the size the side of it and try to very quickly. So maybe inch long, twenty five millimeters yeah, yeah, right. long kind of thing. Right. All right. Um. So you're you're pinching on this. So. <clears throat> You're pretty close to the mouth of it. I mean, you don't have a lot of room to be back. That's what I'm trying to understand. As you put your hand down close to it, it moves. It's almost like it jumped towards your hand and hits the edge of the lip and begins to work its way around the lip of the vial. Give me a dexterity check, please. Okay. Uh, is it a saving throw or just a check? Saving throw, yeah. <clears throat> Pardon okay. me. That is a 15. All right. As it jumps around and moves, by reflex, you let go of the vial. And it immediately covers it. Okay. It's definitely trying to eat at living things. And I'll, I'll say that as I step backwards. Um... It's try it tried to cir circumvent whatever I was I was trying to do to get to my hand. Is there a way to kill it, do we think? Stab it. <laughs> Bar is like, like kind of like <laughs> Fire. Burn it with fire. Some sort of divine damage. Hmm. Um oh. Cleaning, like with water. Um, if it likes life so much, maybe it'll hate death. Uh, should probably use this sparingly, but uh, Var is gonna go ahead and leave Badger shape. Um, she like starts to kind of rummage around as Badger, and then realizes she cannot do that, and so she'll like transform mid rummaging around. Um, and she'll pull out the uh, vial of the river. Um from Athreos that Ari got, and she'll pour a little drop of it onto the bigger. It seems to like that as it begins oh. to expand faster. Oh, no, that's wrong. bad. I think it enjoys death. All right, well, um... Do you have anything... Yes, let's do opposite. the opposite of that. <laughs> I'm going to let's see my spell slots are shot. Um, I forget. Does Moonbeam uh, work indoors or do you have to be outside? A good question. Silvery pale that's, light. That's a rate. That's a radiant, that's radiant uh, damage. damage. A shape yeah, changer exactly. makes it saving. Uh, none of the wording mentions that you have to be outside. No. No. That with the drop of water on it, it has begun to expand faster and it is now covering at least 70% of this creature's body, which is beginning to wilt and fall apart faster. Oh no. Uh, yeah, so Guiding Bolt, second level. That's radiant damage. At the bitch. Let's see. Should we roll initiative? What are we doing? Can I just go for it? Go for it. Nice. Ah, oh, nice. 24 to hit. All right. 20 radiant damage. Cast it. Okay. Second level, maybe. Yeah. All right. And there's a moment where you see that it, it kind of burns in a little bit, and you can see that it 
in the blackness of it, it's hard to tell, but it turns a light gray, kind of like an ash, and begins to flake away like a stone that is crumbling to sand. Good. Very good. But the rest of it continues. The mass begins to grow even more, and the creature on the ground, now just mainly from here up, is all that is left that has not been infected. Save your, save yourselves. Destroy the cavern. Block the stream. Don't let this thing get, get any... And it covers its mouth. And you see as its eyes just grow wide. Laura, can you do anything more in the like that? Uh, I can keep doing that. I can do Moonbeam. I can do a couple things. Um, we need to burn this thing. It should not exist. I think, I think technically Guiding Bolt is more powerful than Moonbeam. But is it? Well, okay. No. But... Moonbeam is more consistent, though. You can probably move yeah. it and burn it in. Now that the body has been completely engulfed, it has stopped expanding outward this way and has proceeded to expand as little spires, little legs, one towards each oh. of you. Oh no. Oh yeah. no. I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and do Moonbeam next then. <laughs> I noticed all the icons just moved farther away. <laughs> Also, no. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> um, well, most of my spells is talking. I can't talk to that thing. Come on now. Gosh, yeah, I can't. We can't have. We cannot have Red come back to a party of symbiotes. That... <laughs> okay, oh, I'll go ahead and do Moonbeam. So I'm trying to capture more of it at one time. Um, it's a little little cone or circle, five feet. And let's see. This is technically a turn-based type thing, so how do you want to do this? Go ahead and do it. All right. So you would need to make a save, a con save. As you begin to cast this, the far wall back here begins to move and oh, this <laughs> this figure it's it's almost like a humanoid shape snake body with snakes around it wearing a hood moves out places its hand in the air and says simply no let it finish Do these robes look familiar? Um, give me an arcana check. Arcana, it's not what I was expecting. That's a 15. This is what would typically be what Farika, the god, would look like. Oh, you're so Okay. Do they have hooved feet? <laughs> no, they have snake, snaky feet. <laughs> okay. They have um, a snake's tail. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Goddess of poison, right? Yeah, god of affliction. Yeah. Probably loves this. Oh. Vara looks at everyone else. She's not sure. That's him. Uh, it, hey, um, <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's not sure what to say. <laughs> Are you a god? <laughs> <laughs> not my god. I already got that one. Saw that one. Don't know who this is. Or she is that an she, imposter? She moves a little bit around, and you can tell that she is observing this. The, the, the darkness doesn't immediately come at her, but it doesn't move away from her either. 
So while it is coming at you, it's not really making a path towards her. Oh, please. Please, go ahead and step into it. Don't make it chase you. I like to see what happens. No. Um, well, we're not going to do that. Oh, I'm why sorry. not? We... Oh, interesting to see. Wouldn't you like to learn what it does? I mean, and she reaches over and just push her hand like that, and the, like a wind comes out, so you can tell magically she's done a wind with it, and it hits the body and kind of flakes off pieces of this black that fly against other plants, and as soon as they hit the leaves of those plants, they begin to wilt and die. I think we already know pretty well what, what it does. It destroys the wild. It should not exist. Destroys the wild? It pretty much destroys everything. Interesting, isn't it? How did the goblins get a hold of this? That would be interesting too, wouldn't it? I intend to find that out after we deal with this. Yes, anyways. Um, Moonbeam, please. <laughs> did, did it make the con save? Uh, it didn't have to. She dispelled it immediately. Oh, oh that's Gross. rude. That's spell. very rude. Mm. I, don't, I don't appreciate well, that. Well, so, uh, here goes again then. I will try to Moonbeam again. And again, Arika says, no. Do it again, and I might have to interfere. You can run if you want, let it pursue you, or let it take you here, which I would prefer. But you will not interfere. It's not... I'm going Would to start. Would not working. bear ill to to your conquest as well, if it kills and destroys everything. Mm. You're known for the afflictions, yes, but also I'm known life. for I'm known for healing. Would you not try a cure on this poor creature? Oh, there was no need. It was time to see what this happened first. Fascinated to find out what it's going to do. Ever and since I, I, I first encountered it deep to the south. South, you say? Yes. Any particular place? Sea, probably. Ah, at the end, the the mire. I Down near the blood tree. Mire. Is that anywhere close to where we're where we're traveling towards? It's it, beyond. It is, right? it. We're at the, it's beyond. It's, it's beyond Asphodel. Yeah. So if you encountered in the mire and it is now appeared here, is it safe to say that it has escaped the mire in earnest? It's fair to say I, something brought it here or someone, and then. She just stops and looks and puts a hand up and the tendrils of this thing stop moving towards you. So tell me, are you the ones who have been doing these things to anger the gods? Um, We've been they're, pursuing them. Yeah, we're attempting to do the opposite. Oh, pity. And she releases, and the tendrils start to move again. What we have information on the person who does, if that's who you're looking for. And she puts her hand up again. Interesting. I'll make a deal with you. If you won't let me run my little experiment on you, which I can understand you may have some fear for that. I have a quest. Just a little challenge. A little uh, experiment. You are not Run my god. Point. So I cannot accept this and I will back away. Oh. Well, I'd like to hear what it is. 
Oh, I just, I have a small item that has been placed by one of the gods in, in a, in this small little chamber. It's, it's a bit of a puzzle. I just need you to uh, solve the puzzle and bring my, uh, addicts, my, my, just a simple urn. Just bring it back to me. And which god has placed this out of your reach? So that we I didn't may say it was out of anchoring. my reach. I said I wanted you to fetch it for me. My mistake. You dodged the question. I do not answer to you. You answer to the gods, child. I wish only to know which other god I will be answering to if I undo their... You should be afraid of the god in front of you, little man. And with that, she rises up to her full height and just fills up this, this room. I don't like that we've broken the seal on God appearances. <laughs> this yeah. is terrifying. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah. Had to happen it's sooner or later. Um, it's there. Yeah. <laughs> is there anything that we could do outside of perhaps hopefully not ruining the trust of our gods? to glean the information, whether or not the god that did this would perhaps be one of ours that we already worship. Who's Phoenix? Are any of you followers of the Gambler? Not I. I have no problem in helping those in need, regardless of whether or not they are of mortal beings or oh, God. I am just distressed and so in need. I need, I need a hero. Well, not like that. That's a little bit much. You're... But I... Anything that would allow us to get back to our quest to stop those that are meddling in your affairs. Well, I really just want you to bring my, my urn back. But either that, or you can stay here, and she kind of coaxes the tendrils a little closer to you. Or you could, you could let me see what, what happens. I mean, we've seen what it does to a nymph. I'm wondering what it does to a mortal man. What kind? What? A badger person? Uh, well, more fish now than anything else. But well, badger fishy creature thing. That's me. <laughs> Bars over this conversation. I mean, it's not like you really have a choice. I mean, you could all be infected before you move out of this room. Bars going to look to Tigris. Tigris is standing just outside this room, and she's peering through, listening to the conversation, and she's thinking. Ari always told me before she left, never stop investigating. And she's just going to be looking at this creature like, I don't believe you're a god, and just looking for any tell that's like, is this really a god? What is this thing? So uh, that's what she's what? doing as you, you look. Give me an insight check. <laughs> for what it's worth, I absolutely believe that this is a god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the descriptions uh, match, so uh 
That's good. I rolled a natural 19 and I got plus three to insight. 22. Um, this is a god. Okay. <laughs> That's so cool. Uh, sorry. Uh, Panda just messaged me to let me know that everyone should remember they can enter the giveaway, including Tam and all of us. Oh, I was told there was no giveaway tonight. That's why I hadn't announced it. I guess that has changed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Dwarf Dwarf showed up and enacted it and said that we're all allowed to join too. I have a specific message that said that wasn't going to happen. But hey, Dwarf, awesome. Thank you so much. Hey, everybody. We're sponsored by Crack and Dice, and there's a giveaway for a $20 gift certificate. So uh, please, if you're here watching, exclamation point giveaway, join the giveaway. All right, Yeehaw, now, now back to Farika being evil. <laughs> or good, or I'm being not dark. sure why she messaged me when she's three feet away, but that's her prerogative. Because <laughs> you're on camera, gosh. No, um. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, she could have just thrown a dice at you. That would have let you know. Right, yeah. Stones at the window. Uh, don't give her ideas. <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> there we go what what'd you roll <laughs> she threw a bag oh, you got the whole I bag jeez I, I got the whole bag <laughs> oh goodness <laughs> back to the evil god that's about to kill us sorry yes. yeah yep. <laughs> very much so What does everybody else think? Kara has and will continue to show just clear distaste for this conversation and situation. I think our options are clear. We have two of them, and I don't favor one of them. I don't favor either of them. But one of them has a clear advantage over the other, as I don't intend to die yet. Do you have a timeline on this earn return? Ret return. Ooh. Earn return. <laughs> we're um, we're quite busy. It's the earn return. Return. Something like that. I would expect you to do it now. Thank you for accepting. And there is a flash of light. I didn't do that. That wasn't <laughs> it was a clarifying question. <laughs> Bar is so pissed. Just... <laughs> <laughs> there is a flash of light. And you find yourself standing in a hallway. God. <laughs> oh, oh, no. That's not how I expected this to happen. Nope. Nope. I'm trying to get the map to update, but roll 20 is uh, being, uh, there we go, obnoxious. There we go. That's great. Our group has found themselves inside of, well, a maze. Redacted. Yes. Something for, something for, something, so, Farika's, uh, Farika's temple of go find my stuff. So, <laughs> it is completely dark in here. Sensing lights. All right. And how are you going to group these lights? I am going to... Oh, Trixie. I'm going to make four and keep two with us and send two out about 60 feet, okay. like 60 and 30 feet. Okay. The hallway extends as far as the light carries straight ahead mm. of you. The ceiling in this place is about 10 feet. The walls appear to be carved of stone. The floor appears to be stone. All carved. Nicely carved. Okay, I have serious reservations about all of this, and I won't be doing any quest for Farika, just putting it out there. I don't think we have a choice. Well, 
the choice is do the quest or die. And I don't think any of us would like the second the ladder. Not yet, at least. Yeah, I already accidentally accepted the quest, so I don't think I can go much deeper into the piety hall. <laughs> um, Shall we move forward then? I suppose so. Is there a how, far, how far are you going to go? Well, I think the it's a two it's a two person yep. lane. So I figure the people with dark visions would probably be in the front. <laughs> Although so there is Tully light, there is light sixty feet out ahead of you at this point. Oh, true. Yes. Oh, Thirty and sixty. Yeah, I can bring that back if it's annoying. No, it's good. Good. I, Barry would just keep walking until she smacks into something. Same. Yeah, I'll just follow the lights so that I can, you know, see. Keep going this right. way. Well, as mentioned, the hallway is quite long, sixty feet long. Unfortunately, there's a section I can't draw in the middle of it, but, uh. When you reach the point of about 60 feet, which is down here where I'm pinging right now so that you can see it, uh, goes a little bit further and then turns to the left. So we're down here, right? Well, on yep. This part. Okay. Yep. Is the floor checkered here? Does this look like some kind of craftsmanship? It's actually, it's actually each stone pieces, stone squares. Okay. I can turn the grid off if it's annoying because it's uh, kind of messing with it, I guess. Armory. No, that's good. It just kind of looks like a checkerboard pattern almost. Cool. And in this direction, it continues a good 60 feet as well. Oh, wow. And then turns again to the left. This place leads us in a giant circle or square, rather. <laughs> and, <laughs> That's and what it's looking left. like. Are yeah. you sending the light out again ahead of you? Same I will. distance. All right. Same. There's a Ooh. small outcropping in this hallway on either side. Uh, doesn't appear to be anything in it. And then again, it goes away and banks to the left. Yep. That's uh, a square. <laughs> I don't know if any of you guys are gamers, <laughs> but usually this kind of outcropping in a hallway means you need to duck inside to that when something passes by. So we'll, we'll hang on to that thought for later, huh? Wow, Alpha Gamer Vara. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Vara's like, at least one time when I was playing Mario Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh... <laughs> As you we see uh, the movie Indiana Jones. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh my goodness. Choose wisely. Um, I keep an eye out for traps, by the way. Uh now that you mentioned that you want to, sure. Probably yes, I would idea. like to. I would very okay. much like to do that. Very good. Very good. I know your passive perception, I'll run with it. So thank you, you very uh, much. You're very, I know it's a million, so why bother rolling? It's 24, close <laughs> enough. <laughs> On a scale of one of a million, that's a million. So, anyway, um, as you make your way down the hallway a bit more, you see more outcroppings to the north and south of you. Uh, these outcroppings have statues in them. Um, and each of the statues as you pass by is bearing a symbol. The first statue, the one to your right, I'm trying mm -hmm. to ping it, but it's not pinging. This one? Pinging as a symbol of the sun. The statue to the south has a symbol of lightning. Mm. What would you like to do? Are you going to continue uh, down the hall? I, I would like to continue and see about these statues. Okay. Meanwhile, <laughs> I would like to see... I would like to get to one of the statues and kind of try to move and see if it turns in any way. Okay. 
Uh, this statue has a symbol of fire on it. Okay. Uh, you place your hands on the statue and attempt to move it, and it will not move. Okay. And what about this friend down here? That statue has a picture of the moon. Okay, so fire, moon, sun, lightning. Uh -huh. um. Which god is associated with fire? Perforous. Perforous. Oh, <laughs> oh yes, of course, of course. We totally know that. It. It. <laughs> all right. So we got Heliod. What? Keranos. <clears throat> Perforous. Moon. And who's lightning? Is that Thassa? That, What's no, lightning? lightning would be Keranos, no. right? Uh, yeah, I got a storm, right? Yeah. Isn't Keranos the storm god? Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't have my book open, so I'm just. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm just gonna. The moon could be. Ours. I'm just gonna meta game over here just a moment while I look up all these gods. Now hold on, I'm not. I'm joking. Them up. I'm joking. The moon could but... be Athreos. Yeah, it, mm. Athreos symbol does have a moon. That's what I. That's what I was remembering. Mm -hmm. That could be yes. So, as far as we can tell, there's no way to interact with these so statues. Perforous, Athereos, Heliod, Heliod, and, and Kyrnos. No. And it doesn't seem like there's any interaction, right? I was trying to move it, and it, it didn't move at it all. It did not do anything, yeah. It didn't want to move, yeah. and uh, there was no... Okay. These could be clues for whatever the next part is, if we can remember their positions. Well, I'm going to go stand by the Athreos one and see if anything happens. Where, where's the, the moon was this one? Right, cool. I'm going to place my hand on it. Does it anything does happen? It does nothing. Okay. Is, it, um, is it more of an element-based? Puzzle? Potentially, I don't have any spells that deal elemental damage. I have Moonbeam, but mm. um, I would need to rest. Well, the question is, is this sort of light based on the moon or the sun, even if it is a Moonbeam? It is radiant damage. That is interesting. Yeah, that, my thought is that radiant damage must be the sun, right? No. Yeah, it's called moon. Um, I'm gonna walk up these steps and see. Like on my left, is this a is this another ramp up? It is a door? giant, a giant stone door. Is there any symbols written on that door at all? Uh no, it is just a stone door. And then, straight in front of me, can is there any? Yep, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to reveal areas, mm -hmm. and unfortunately, roll twenty is doing what it usually does. No worries. Being a, uh, you know what? There we go. There's another stone door there. Oh, okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Let me expand a little bit more. There you go. Uh, okay. I'll, I'd I'll like just to go ahead. point out. Yeah, just keep going ahead. I'll just be like, and and there's no features on either stone door. <clears throat> no. Just stone okay. doors. And this pillar Where? doesn't have any uh sim or symbols or anything. Just a stone just a stone pillar. Oh boy, Got and it. we have more statues. Two more Ferica, statues. Yeah, Federica said there was a more. puzzle, so at least yeah, two more. Check these. So, any more past those? Yes. If, yeah, if so you're going eight. all the way to the end of it, I will uh Go ahead and expand this. To show. Another door. Yep, another door. Oh so, boy. what we have here is water, mm -hmm. acid, frost, hmm. <laughs> don't know that one. Yeah. Also forgot. <sighs> a symbol, a cloud symbolizing air. And a tree symbolizing Earth. What, Karametra, right? Karametra. Assuming that these are 
gods and not simply just elements. Mm. Yeah. Because I can't think of a specific god of air or a god of uh, yeah, I don't know. frost. So as you look a little bit closer at these, you can see that there's like a small recess at the base of each one of these. They want an offering of Ah, oh, we're something. doing fifth element. Okay, I understand that. <laughs> and as you look more at it, you can see that while the statues themselves didn't move, the, the small bowl that is near it, you know, the little recess, that can be moved a little bit and, you know, placed closer, like onto the little part of the statue. And the rest of the statues, the bowls are, seem to be missing or off somewhere, mm -hmm. but the water, the bowl for it is actually sitting in place on the statue. Okay, so this is the easy one to test if we're correct, right? We yeah, pour let's a, let's attempt someone the takes one. out a water skin and pours yep. into it. Yep. I will I'll do go it. ahead. I'll, I'll or, go or Vara will. It's no, yeah, go for it. She's the water person. Nah, you're good. All right. All right. Just in case it backfires. Go ahead. Which one? Which one are you pouring? <laughs> which one are you pouring it into? Because I'd see everybody standing in one of the one in front of the one with the symbol of frost. Sorry, the water bowl one. The water one. Which would be over here, right? Is it Right there. Oh, the water is up there, my, my bad. You pour water into it, and you hear the, <clears throat> the sound of stone grating on stone somewhere in the distance. Not too far away. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. But it's not, it's not one of these stone doors opening, is it? I'm going to check them out. Uh, as you... Approach, you see that this door and unfortunately reveal areas and stuff is not working well. Dead gummit. Just a moment, please, as I fight with this stupid roll 20. There we go. And I'm just going to squiggle across this because unfortunately I don't have a good way to remove the door since it's not uh, working for me. That door is open. So there we go. All right. Uh... I'm going to try and head inside. Um, before we go, do we need the bowls? We should test that, huh? And then I'm going to go over the one that was Earth <clears throat> is over here, right? Uh, yes. I'm going to just pick up some dirt from the ground or stone or rubble and place it where the recess is. Give me just a second as I'm trying to do two things at once, which never works well for me. And what did you do? Uh, sorry, what did you place in it? I picked up like some dirt and rubble from the ground. Ideally, if there is like dirt, dirt, um, I would kind of get a grasp of that and place it where the bowl would be to see if it works without a bowl. Uh, there is no response. I would catch up to everyone and let them know. Um, either I don't know what Earth is, or we do need the bulls. So, carry on. Could, we could double check. And uh, this one is a f the fire one, right? Yes. Right here. I'll grab a small piece of paper and use a press, like presto, the fire. And just kind of like make a little, or like presto the small piece of paper, parchment, and toss like a small uh, flame into that recess. No response. So we do need the bowl then. Well, they're probably scattered somewhere. Either that, or we're supposed to remove that bowl and use it. But let's just see if we're. What this path leads. It may as well. Uh, I'm going to venture in first, looking for traps. I don't think this is the kind of place to use the traps, but better safe than sorry. Yeah, I'll follow. As I'll you follow. look around, you're you're not seeing anything that looks trap worthy. There's a little bit of rubble on the floor in places, but um, it just looks like 
solid stone everywhere you go. All right. Now, if this urn was placed here by the god of deception, then there's probably a trick to this puzzle, don't you think? Which leads me to believe that there's only one bowl. Potentially. Or perhaps that there are wrong paths or elements. Either or, yes. We should tread carefully. Treading as carefully as I can, but I'm going to keep forging ahead. Yeah. Um, as we're as we're forging ahead, there's that this this little kind of uh narrow road. Is there any the the walls are just still as just smooth, right? There's just no smooth anything. stone. Yeah. Okay. Just making sure. Got it. And the hallway continues on. Oh, there's definitely a boulder running rolling through here. Oh yeah. Oh, right. mm -hmm. There's one oh, hundred totally. percent of boulder rolling yeah. through here. <clears throat> All right, there's well, only space for one person to squeeze too, so Yeah. No, unless we just feel like getting real comfy with each other. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean Ooh. We're, 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 we're that as you party, right? step in Bye. front of this room. Absolutely. You see that it is engulfed in flames. Uh. Oh, wow. Is it like loud flames at all? Oh, yes. It's, it's roaring flames. I'll just be mm. like, you, you reckon the bowl's in there? The flame bowl. Or is that what happens when you don't use the bowl? Because you didn't use the bowl, right? So it wasn't uh, contained? That's a theory for sure. I suppose I can't see anything in there, can I? It's all fire. Yeah. It's just you can, fire. Uh, you know what? You know what? Give me a perception check with disadvantage. With pleasure. Well, in theory, it's not a threat. We're, we're in a stone foundation. I'm just gonna put on my glasses on when I do this. I don't have to care. Oh no! With this advantage, one of those is a uh, no. That's a seven. Thank God. Uh, <laughs> which means it's plus nine, sixteen. Um, through the flames, you see at the far side of this room what appears to be a small bowl. Ah, <sighs> <sighs> it is in there. My question is how we get it out. Was the flames in, in any way? Um, I'll just kind of look at Varro. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's see. I have a gust of wind. I'm going to go ahead and draw in the hallway because I think even with the flames, Hyrax and dark vision people and maybe the lights would move along so that you could see that it continues on. So I just want to clarify. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm just going to, look, this is stupid, but I'm just going to take out a torch and hold it out and try to light it on the flames just to it make lights. sure that they're real. It lights. They to make sure they're flames. real. You can feel the heat from these flames. Yep. Okay. I'm going to look at it then extinguish it against the wall and put it back. I can get a gust of wind, but it'll only be a channel, so... It'll, the flames on the sides of the rooms would potentially immediately overfill it, but I can try. I'm assuming the flames are being produced magically, so I doubt it'll blow out like a candle. But Worth a test. Worth a test. Oh. Otherwise, fact, I can shape water, but um, that'll take a while. In fact, uh, I want I'll I'll just kind of have kind of move um Hyrax a little further out if I could and I'll just kind of um if you could move a little further outwards uh, sure. and then Vara if you if you take one step closer is it possible no no uh, too 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 close one one further back <laughs> um is it possible for you to use this angle to Aim your gust of wind this way. What if we aimed 
what if you aim your gust of wind this way? Th and then I'll also throw um, some thunderous sound into it, kind of forcing the, the fire out. I like doubling the, the effects. I'll, I'll, I'm going to like prep a thunderclap to, to I'll, I'll be as like close as possible, but not in five feet range of anybody so that the thunderclap doesn't hurt anybody else, but I'll just like thunderclap in and force it with the uh, the wind is what my idea is to kind of blow out the, the fire in some way. To well, see if it's, I'm, if it's I'm not going to assume that Ptolemaeus totally slept through Orcos's training in the last uh, session. Oh. <laughs> Or that you would have shared with him the knowledge that he shared with your team about casting spells and team members. He taught uh, all of the casters how to manage things about their spells, so if there's anything that would affect your other players, they get advantage on their save. Oh, well, I mean, if, if we position like this, it technically... Oh, no, no, I'm just saying that oh, just okay, so you okay, know... If you're casting something like that, they would have advantage on the save as well. Because yeah. I don't that think anyone be... mentioned that to you. No. <laughs> Nobody <sorry>. did. <laughs> well, that's fine. That is okay. I don't affect people with my spells most of the time anyways. But um, yeah, if we could, if we could try something like that. I Just should. making sure that, making sure it's, we could put it out at least. It's a tough angle. Um. How about you come in closer, and then, uh, Hyrax, you move a little further out, and we'll, we'll do it this way instead. I don't mind just taking, taking the thunder, to be honest. I've weathered some storms. Yeah, okay, we can try it. Oh, okay, all right, yep, yep, that's too close, too close. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> Personal space. Personal <laughs> space. Bumped into you. Okay, so you're going to gust of wind, and you're going to... Undefined. Wait, hold on. I'm so dumb. I just realized something. How yes. far is the bowl? It's on the oh, opposite God. side of the room. <laughs> yeah, what's your range on your little handy there, huh? Yeah, what's, what's, what's my range on my Oh, I probably should have said there. that out loud, huh? <laughs> yeah, because I forgot, because it's not on my list. It's on my, it's on my features from... My freaking Gosh, god. We don't have brain cells. Oh. I swear to god. It, oh. I mean, it's been a while. It's been a while. So I, I guess see. it is okay. This is but... excellent. Um, uh, uh, DM, may I just use Mage Hand and uh, try to go pull? Um... <laughs> <laughs> Freddy said, you even said in chat, I can't believe with all our casters that no one has Mage Hand. <laughs> yeah, I. Uh... <laughs> Is it? Yeah. It's it's thirty feetable, right? It's it's uh... uh. I believe it is thirty feetable. Yes. Okay, I will. I will just walk up a little bit closer and just kind of feel around it. I guess I was like, wait, there's. Okay, so disclosure: the last time I tried this, I was really really drunk. So maybe, maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't. But I mean, you do it in your sleep, Tolly. So I, th I think it'll be okay. I did what now? Um, Don't worry about it. <laughs> and this just became we? a totally different stream. Yeah. Huh. Mm. I have a good excuse, you know. I was really drunk, so I might not know about it. I will use Mage Hand, though. I will try it. All right. Um, and uh, and uh, standing that close, the heat of the flames is almost unbearable. But you're okay, and it's not there. a thirty foot long room, so you've got space. Uh, the okay. hand flies across, picks up the bowl, and flies it back out of the room to you. And then I immediately walk out of the full flames. Okay. And is there a fire in the bowl that's like already uh, no, there? No, the or? the bowl is not on fire. No. Okay. Is it, is it made Let it sit for a moment. I'm sorry. There were two things said, so I couldn't tell. What was what? I asked or, if the bowl was made of stone. Okay. Uh, it's made out of the same material as the other one. It appears to be some kind of stone, but it's, it's different okay. from, the, from the walls and the statues. 
And I think Hayek said, what do we? Uh, Hayek said, yeah, wait, let it sit for a moment. Because I'll just have it floating next to me and I'll just be like, yeah, no, I'm not touching it. Yeah, you can feel the heat emanating from this bowl. Yeah, maybe oh, maybe like, now try a gust right of there. wind. Oh yes, I could just do like a gust or or even just blow it off. Yeah. Or can can Presto chill things? Can I just Presto it to to be cooler? <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. I mean, hopefully yeah, it won't I'll crack. Just... You know. <laughs> oh god damn it! Oh. You know, I'll just hold. I'll just hold on to it. It's fine. We, we You're just mending. Can move it's on. okay. We can move on. <laughs> I'll just. <laughs> Crack float mend, next crack time. Mend. <laughs> we can just we can just track back and place it so that way you're not carrying it this whole time. Yeah. Before we let's continue do further. Indeed. Smart. Fair enough. And uh I'll just kinda walk over and say, excuse me, excuse yeah, me. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll get out of the way. And uh I'll drop it on the uh the recess and the flames the fire statue. Well, while you and Tigros head back, I'm actually going to stay back with Hyrax for a second, and I'm going to look to him and just, um, just so you know, this sort of situation that we're in, this is a, this happens a lot. Um, I, I hope you realize that. <laughs> I was wondering, but, uh... Yeah, not this specific situation. The whole God thing is rather new, um... But these kinds of weird, sticky situations where we don't really know what's going on and there's threat and peril and, um, yes, we get into this often. I am I... familiar with a bit of that myself. Okay. Hopefully I'll be able to help you. Though uh, I'm not much for magic or for puzzles, I'll be honest. Oh, well, obviously neither are we. So that's okay. I just want to make sure that you're really willing to do this. I've seen a lot, and I'm not daunted. Don't worry. It's nice having you here. Thank you. It's good to be somewhere where we can deal with problems like this. Oh, I'll have to tell you about my father sometime. Or uh, uh, adoptive bonding remind me he was a good man i'll tell you about my mother's sometime that'd be great you place the uh, bowl on the platform of the statue and it just sits there um well okay since they're having this conversation i completely forgot um i'll do the same thing again i will use my a little scrap of paper and just without like consulting anybody in that sense, I'll just presto a flame and just chuck it into that bowl now. Okay. Hyrax. The door closes. We're trapped. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Hyrax, you hear the sound of a uh, stone grating coming from down the hallway a little bit further. Oh, let's say I'm still back here. Oh, yeah. I would have come with you too. So I'll be able to. Yep. And I'll just. Assuming that there's really nothing else but us here, uh, go up to the stone door and just be like, anything happen on your end? Vara didn't hear the noise, I don't think, right? It was just Hyrex because of his perception. Yep. So Vara's going to be chit-chatting about... You know, the really interesting thing about being a shark is that you are very aware of your surroundings, but yet you can't see. She's just she's just on a tangent. <laughs> and 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 then I I hear the uh, the stone grating. I think they've opened another door. Oh. Oh, um, Tolly, you opened a door. All right, let's keep moving. I'll just walk over. I'm gonna check down here, by the way, before we do anything else. And you see a doorway that had a stone door in front of it. Uh, you can tell that it was there, but it is now open. Nice. Cool. Yay for not consulting your party members. Yeah, good job. <sighs> I will never do that ever again. 
Uh, you can't do it worse than me, baby. So <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, oh, no. I'm oh. going to step in. As you step uh, into the room, four skeletons rise from a basin at the far wall that is filled with some kind of a murky ooze. Is it the same I... kind of murky ooze that we encountered earlier? No, this is uh, a different okay. murky ooze. So... You see, this was murky ooze. That one was ichor, black ichor. So there, that's okay. right. There you go. There's a You've got to don't mix up your black ichors and your murky oozes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> They're different things. That's what the poor humors. <laughs> it's just evil alchemy one hundred and one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I love it. I, I bet that, that that's like a. I'm sorry. The, no, go ahead. the skeletons take up a. I was going to say defensive posture, but I think the proper word would be offensive posture. But they don't want to say hello. They don't want to talk. Yeah, well, you know, no. some guys okay. are just a little difficult. And I'm trying to pull up a nice skeleton. Uh, but all the ones I'm getting, I don't like. So, yeah, we'll go with these guys. They're a little comical, but what the heck? Oh, nice. Oh, they're cute. Little I dude. Say that. <laughs> yeah, they stab for 40 damage. Rattle them, boys. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, they're adorable. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> they start playing their ribcage. <laughs> <laughs> Bots music. Yeah. <laughs> but here. Here, there are two things I would like to do, but if I do one, then the other is going to hit us. We are like within 15 minutes of the time we have our hard cutoff this evening. So we either stop in the middle. I doubt you're going to defeat them that quick. I may be wrong. So do you want to continue or if hold we, off on this till next time? If we stop now, we get a Drastos for the fight. So oh, that would be cool. Oh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that, that option. <laughs> I can I, talk things to death. I can't talk <laughs> undead things to uh, more death. That doesn't work that way. I'm pretty so, low on. I mean, we need to rest, my friend. Yeah. Um. I've been worse. I guess we'll save this for next year. 